Uh, first off, let's talk about the Griptilian. <laughs> If you're a knife enthusiast, there are a few rules. Uh, one of those rules is that you need to have a Swiss Army knife. Um, you also need to have a tactical knife. Uh, you also need to have one of, one of those classic knives uh, with a nail flick. Um, you also need to have a Spyderco knife or a couple Spyderco knives. Uh, you also need to have uh, flipper knives. Um, I, so now that I think about it, there's actually a lot of rules when it comes to uh, being in, in, the, in the knife community. Um, but what I'm uh, one of the other rules for, uh, for the, if you're a knife enthusiast is that you need to have a Benchmade knife because uh, if you haven't tried the Axis Lock, then you're you're definitely missing out. And the new hotness with Benchmade is the Benchmade Freak. People are, you know. It's almost kind of ironic that people are freaking out about this knife. Um, I, I cameoed this in a video, I think, and I put it on Instagram, and uh, I'm getting emails, I'm getting comments, I'm getting messages, uh, PMs, uh, all the different ways that you can contact someone through social media. Uh, people want to know my thoughts on the uh, the freak especially now that you know going gear has sent me the griptilian now that i have this back in my uh, collection uh, people want to know uh, what what my thoughts are and honestly you guys are going to be surprised how i rank this as well as the other benchmade knives um, i'm going to do that at the end of this video um, but uh, first off let's talk about the griptilian <laughs> so uh, for those of you guys who aren't aware, or maybe you just need a refresher, the Griptilian um, is a knife that uh, it's it's great at one thing especially, and that it, yes, that is it, the fact that it, uh, it has a good grip, but it fills the palm, and that's one thing that I'm always talking about. So if you were to compare this to, uh, I'm trying to think of another uh, knife, we'll just use another another uh, Benchmade. So. Um, although the 940 is one of the best everyday carry knives on the market, and it's a bestseller for Benchmade for sure, um, it doesn't, it, it's not going to, it, it's kind of a bad example because it does, it is very ergonomic. Um, let me think of another a knife here. Uh, uh, here we go. The Kershaw Leak. Um, I would say... Well, it doesn't, it doesn't fill the hand, right? Um, the blade size is going to be similar to the Griptilian, uh, the, the, the cutting edge um, length, but you know, it's, it's not going to feel as good in your hand because it's designed to be small in pocket, right? So that's, that's I think, one of the better comparisons that, that, I, could, that I could make. Um, that being said, uh, the Griptilian, whether you get the modified sheep's foot, and you can get it in non-serrated um, if you don't want the combo edge, um, or if you get it in the drop point like the mini grip uh, on top, uh, it's it's an excellent slicer, performer, um, you know, just what, it's pretty much the all-around go-to Benchmade knife. Uh, it, it's a little bit less expensive, you know, the... A Benchmade Griptilian ranges 90 to 100, a little over $100 uh, if you get the standard variant. But if you go higher end, like this variant, which has the, the G10 handles and the upgraded uh, steel, it says the uh, 20 CV steel, um, then it's going to be um, a lot more <laughs> money. Uh, I think this one's like 160 or, 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 or higher, depending on where you find it at. Um, and it's got, a, it, it's, it's pretty cool, uh, right? So it's, it, it has so many variants. Uh, because of how popular it is, and it does it does a good job um, with that. Um, I wonder if they'll come up with a mini freak. Yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Uh, but one of the main gripes that I have with the grip is of how many uh, places that this comes in contact with the skin. It kind of it kind of irritates uh, the skin if you to use this for a long period of time. Um, you can. This part right here is what bothers me the most, and as you got some right here. So 
Um, and then there's a lot of jimping right here, although not all of it is functional because some of it's recessed. Um, so just kind of keep that in mind, all of the contact part points that maybe if you have a griptilian or you used it, you, uh, you may remember um, that, that irritates you. Or maybe it doesn't irritate you. Maybe, maybe your skin is cows to the point where it doesn't matter. I don't know. And, and to you, I say bravo. <laughs> um, but with the Freak, it doesn't have that problem at all in my uh, experience with this and I've and I've used this all of it's just come out and as you can see this is my first video of it and it like I said it just came out uh, so um, maybe uh, I'm a little biased or too overly excited with this knife but but my first impressions with whenever I use this is that it's an amazing benchmade knife and honestly uh, well I'll say I'll save my ranking to the end <laughs> Try, uh, got to keep you all watching. Got to keep you know ramping up the suspense. Um, the things that I really like about this knife is uh, one of them is the, just simply the performance, right? Because that's what you want when you are you know spending a little over a hundred dollars on a uh, on a new pocket knife. You want it to be able to be functional. And because of uh, first off this, this ramp um, and extra blade steel right here works really really well into the design better than I thought it would. Um, so it provides, it makes it a great slicer. Um, it has a good uh, belly, although it's not, um, it, it's, it's not, it doesn't have a recurve or anything like that. Um, it, whenever this slices through something, uh, it really holds on to it and it, uh, it, it tears it right in half, especially cardboard. Uh, for those of you who uh, go through a lot of cord, cardboard boxes, process a lot of them. Um, another thing that it does really, really well, though, with the with the performance of it is um, is the ergonomics. So, as I mentioned, it doesn't have those uh, th those parts that are going to irritate your your skin. Um, and then you got recessed jimping here, and a little bit of jimping on this spine of the blade. And that ramp uh, provides a a perfect, um, in my opinion, just a perfect uh, feel to this and it and it makes it just like the griptilian does um, it makes it an extension of yourself uh, your, your griptilian is good at filling the palms and and so does this this knife the the, the freak um, and i think that it um i just think it's a, it's, a, it's a as nick shabazz would say it's a beautiful thing <laughs> if you guys watch him or, or not but he's a he's an awesome guy um and i don't know if he's done a review of this he probably has um the coating uh this rubberized coating it doesn't feel cheap or it doesn't feel like it's being like it's wearing away of a time will tell of course um and i'll update y'all if that happens uh, but it it's just an excellent uh feel to it you know it this may look like it's uh, like it's plastic, but it's not. It's uh, it's, it's a, like I said, a rubberized uh, grip, like you would feel like on a, I guess like a tennis racket, except without as much give. Um, just just perfect, and and the ergonomics with this uh, finger groove right here, um, and just the design of it, it it's, it's not overly complicated, and it and it locks into place. Another thing, I just think this is just kind of more of a fun thing because uh, sometimes our before fidget cubes and uh, spinners and stuff came out, people would fidget with, with their knives, especially the axis lock of their Benchmates, and um, it swings closed. It doesn't need the extra you know, movement that, that sometimes uh, Benchmates need um, in order to, to close. So it's, it's sort of like the Crooked River in that, in that way, but that, it, that it closes because the, uh, the blade steel is, is, is uh, I guess, more heavy than uh, uh, a, a grip tilling would be and and you do kind of uh, feel like it does it feels perfectly balanced and whatnot but uh, you can feel that it has extra steel up here because of that ramp but like I said it's an excellent performer now is this going to be uh, a better knife than the 940 Osborne uh, I have the 940-1 and carbon fiber um, and Honestly, it's a different category of knife. So the 940 Osborne is uh, just like the Kershaw Leak in the way that its, uh, its strength is that you get a lot of blade 
for the size. Um, and not to mention that the tip is really strong. It's great at uh, piercing and penetrating. Um, but such a such a small package compared to something like that, like like the Freak or the Griptilian. And you can really see it when you're looking uh, from from this angle. Um, extremely lightweight, especially in the uh, the carbon fiber variant. Um, so it's it's really hard to compare them. Um, the Presidia Ultra is another excellent excellent um, Benchmade knife. Um, I really like the, the texture on this and uh, whenever you're drawing this out of your pocket I like the the texture you can um, you can get extra what's known as purchase when you pull it out um, But you're going to get that with the with the freak as well um, But as far as preferences, even though it's hard to compare griptilians against other griptilians, I would say that the runner-up would be the Crooked River Knife, and uh, I'm sorry, this was my birthday present uh, last year. I want to love this knife, trust me. Um, but the ergonomics just aren't what they should be right here. Um, it's, you guys can, yeah, you can see my other uh, videos where I, I explain that. Um, but I would say that this is number one. Um, let me put this in focus. I would say that the 940 is probably going to be... Uh, Number two, like I said, you can't really compare the two, but you know, just what I'm going to be reaching for on a, on the average um, would be probably in this order. Um, now, not trying to start any fights in the comment section or anything like that. <laughs> yes, I do like the Presidio Ultra better than the Griptilian. So this is one, two, three, four, five, and then runner up. Um, Everyone is different, you know, you're gonna have different preferences and you guys asked for mine, <laughs> but this is this is how I would rank them. I would rank the Benchmade Freak as the number one knife of the Benchmade new lineup. Now, am I saying that because it's brand new and it's a new shiny thing? Is this going to change? Of course, the rankings are going to change over time. But as of right now, this is how I feel and I'm gonna be carrying this with me often. And if you haven't purchased a Benchmade knife, um, this might be the only Benchmade knife you, you need. Uh, I, I would recommend some of the others as well. Um, but, but if you are, certainly if you're a knife enthusiast, like I was saying at the beginning of the video, and maybe you've purchased a Benchmade or two and you're, you're wanting to get another one, this is the one you should buy. Um, hands down, no questions asked. This should be your next purchase, um, uh, either Benchmade or if you're a knife enthusiast uh, at all. And yeah, it is going to be a little bit more expensive, so you're going to have to save up for it um, if you don't have uh, the, the savings already. But let me know what you guys think, as always, in the comment section down below. What would your what are your favorite uh, Benchmade knives? Do you have this? How does it compare? Uh, let me know all those things. I'll be leaving links for all these knives in the description box down below. Y'all stay safe out there, and remember, it pays to be prepared. God bless.